So, ladies and gentlemen, we are very excited today because we are going to discuss about this year 2021. Mm -hmm. 2021. 2020 came and it went as if it never came, but now it's 2021. February, what's the date today? Today is, oops, it's March, sorry, not February. All right, so two and a half months have almost passed. Uh, but yet I see many people, they have not yet come into that mood of 2021 because 2020, if you add the numbers, it's four. Two plus zero plus two plus zero. Four. What is four in numerology? Four is the number ruled by Rahul. So today in this video, we will discuss about uh, this uh, number five, which is Mercury. Then we'll discuss about your Lagna chart, your Navamsha chart, your Dasamsa chart. I will try my best to help you so that you can uh, get an idea of what you should be doing uh, during this year. Okay. And next year is 2022, which is six, which is the year of Venus. But this year is ruled by Mercury. So, <clears throat> therefore, if you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him, even if it's 2021. Okay. So, 2021, as you know, is Mercury number five. What is Mercury? I've made so many videos on Mercury recently. Mercury is the primary Karaka for the 10th house. He is the Karaka for skill, not talent. Not talent, not talent, skill. People think Mercury shows talent. No, he doesn't. Mercury shows your skills. Skills not only which benefit you, but benefits others also. Because only then people open their wallets for you, right? <laughs> If you say, oh, I can just benefit myself with this skill, then nobody else gives you a penny. But if you say, oh, I can benefit 10 people, then 10 people will give you their money. Many times people ask. Uh, in fact, there's this uh, famous person, Ralph Smart from Infinite Waters YouTube channel. He was once asked this question um, that, sir, how can I become a millionaire? Hmm? So he said, don't think of becoming a millionaire. Think of how you can serve a million people. Because if you serve a million people, if they give you one euro, you become somebody with one million euros. One USD. One million USD, right? So, therefore, Mercury shows that skill which benefits you and benefits others and benefits society in large, okay? So, therefore, it is very important during this year to check these planets. So for example, first and foremost, most important is you should check Mercury. Okay. And where is Mercury placed in your birth chart? First of all, you must check that. That will tell you uh, where is Mercury's nakshatra lord, which houses is Mercury sitting, uh, ruling. Mercury will rule two houses. In the bhav chart, sometimes it can also rule one chart, uh, one house. Okay. So, because in bhav chart, sometimes the sign disappears. Okay? So, therefore, it's crucial that you look your bhav chart, not your lagna chart, not your rashi chart, or your bhav chart. Again, if you do not know what I'm talking of, what is bhav chart? If it sounds alien, then please go and type exotic astrology bhav chart. Bhav chart is the chart where a planet is sitting in that particular house and the results come from the bhav chart, not from the lagna or the rashi chart. Okay. So don't confuse between the two. Lagna chart, Rashi chart shows which sign your planet is and Bhav chart shows which house your planet is. And results come from the houses, not from the Rashis. Okay? So having said that, once you have seen which houses Mercury rules, where he's sitting, very important, which sign he's sitting, and then you check the Nakshatra Lord. Where is the Nakshatra Lord of Mercury sitting? And... Uh, if you have links between the education houses, the fourth, which are the houses of education, the fourth and the ninth and the fifth also, but fifth has more to do with intelligence of any kind, but the fourth and the ninth house has exclusively to do with uh, knowledge, okay? information, uh, uh, information re related to any area of life. So if your fourth and ninth houses are somehow linked by Mercury. So, for example, if Mercury is sitting uh, in Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra, for example, 
in your birth chart and who is the lord of pura bhadrapada jupiter if he is sitting in the fourth or ninth doesn't matter jupiter is exalted or debilitated just doesn't matter you will have to go and learn learn some skills pertaining to education okay uh, education doesn't mean how to educate others but it could be some technical skill which is required to carry on with your uh, basics of your existing work job or business okay so if you are into software programming then you could go to code academy and learn some coding there or coursera or udemy these are platforms which i frequently use as a cloud engineer so these are things you can do and if it is something to do with the third house then you will need skills related to consulting okay public speaking uh, how to give advice guru upadesh third house then if it is fifth house you may need some creative skills if you are into app development you may need some experience of the front end because the fifth house shows creativity anything that looks good feels good and if it is anything related to 10th house then you should have go and get the skills related to you know management uh, like uh, how to manage a team how to engage people how to engage your subordinates your juniors according to their uh, propensities according to their nature how to be a good leader these are the skills that you will need 11th house how how do you take things to the next level how do you scale 11th house is scalability okay how you can make something for 10 people can you make it for 100 can you make it for 1000 can you make it for a million people how will you scale your business your work your job your self employed work these are the things which you need if the nakshatra lord of mercury is linked with the 11th house okay and 7th house the negotiation deal contracts uh, could be some some skills related to business partnership and all this okay so mercury is the planet which you must check he is the primary karaka for the 10th house do not forget that then the next planet that you must check <clears throat> because mercury is also related to knowledge and education so you must check jupiter okay jupiter is very simple he shows the kind of guidance that you can get when you are pursuing your mercury mercury is the student the student he studies himself okay and he figures out things himself he learns but then jupiter is the guru the guru comes and tells you hey you have learned so much yet nothing <laughs> because you are going wrong here you are going wrong there okay so you are having the traits of mercury you because of this 2021 but you have to understand that jupiter is also equally important because just having information will not get you anywhere you have to have a road map jupiter is the path it's the uh, different milestones which you will uh, get okay jupiter also shows planning strategies you know, like having a vision for the future so these are things that you need okay so therefore these two planets are very crucial for this year and if you are running mahadasha of <clears throat> mercury or jupiter then this year is really crucial and most importantly the month of may is very crucial for this year okay now what i am trying to do is i am trying to tell you how you can use your existing chart and help yourself during this year i am not going into all this will the stock market crash will uh, coronavirus increase or it it will reduce or what that whatever has to happen that will anyways happen but if you know what can help you then you can benefit yourself and everybody else also okay so therefore month of may january february march april may may is number 5 okay the month of may is very crucial if you check 2020 last year number 4 which is the fourth month it was month of april by april last year entire world was under lockdown okay now does it mean by may this year all lockdowns will, will, will be released no i'm not saying that but i'm trying to explain and similarly next year the month of june will be most important because it is six number of venus okay so therefore many times uh, people are asking me i have this plan i have that plan i want to do this i want to do that when should I do it? I would say do it in May this year. Akshay Tritya is there. Okay. Uh, let me check when is Akshay Tritya this year. Akshay Tritya. Okay. Akshay Tritya 2021. 14th May. Friday is Akshay Tritya. Okay. So again, it's again five. Wow. <laughs> so it's like five, five, 
five wow it's just brilliant just brilliant you know month is five days five years is five just brilliant right how much is the total five is a 15 the total is six anyways great no problem so anything you wish to do anything new you want to start then please go and do it on akshay Tithya, okay you have time what's today's date today's date is 9th march april may you have two months okay you have two freaking goddamn months 65 days you have almost okay so if you start from today and plan then you can execute anything you want to learn start on akshay Tithya. please do it okay and then most importantly, your Navamsa and your Dashamsa chart, you will be thinking, oh, it's Mercury, so it's the 10th house, right? We only check the Dashamsa. What's the need of checking the Navamsa? No, 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 no. Navamsa, you must check. Navamsa is very crucial because it will tell you the uh, talents that you are born with. The Navamsa tells you the talents, what you carry on from your past lives, okay? Now, how do you know the talents from Navamsa? That is a whole different area that I'm not going here because Vishti Larson had uh, spoken in detail and I have also spoken so many times, okay? So you can type in YouTube, Exotic Astrology Navamsa. You'll find Vishti Larson and so many of my videos. First, you can watch his videos and then if you want, you can also watch my videos. But it's very crucial that you use the Navamsa properly to understand your uh, talents. Okay, now I'm not telling that that alone is enough because talent is not necessarily a skill. You may be talented in singing, you may be talented in uh, cooking, you may be talented in dancing. But is it a skill necessarily? Can can you uh, benefit your life and others' lives like that? And when I'm talking of skill here, I'm talking. Um, at a not in a financial level necessarily but uh, you could say in modern times you know in, from a business perspective i'm saying okay so are you having that level of skill so you can check the talents from the navamsha and then you can go to your dashamsha and check where and how can i use these skills okay and talents and the convert the talents into skill talent is something which is god given god gifted which means you have carried it from your past lives now how can you utilize that okay and then your upcoming mahadasha so this is how you analyze so therefore from the navamsha you check and then go to the dashamsha and check which traits talent skills i can use in which area and how i cannot use okay and therefore this is like a very important year because this is mercury's year and again when it will come again you know imagine next when is number five coming so any plans you have for education, career, business, skill, learning, self-growth, you know, you want to read books, you want to hear lectures, audio, whatever it is. You want to enrich your mind, your brain, your intelligence, reading the Bhagavad Gita. That's very crucial. Okay, so whatever you want to do in this year, you know the date now, which date you should do it. Okay. So that will be all from my side. Do not waste this year and especially the month of May. And you will really benefit from this. Okay. And whoever has come to me for consultations for career readings, especially, I've always told them this is something you must start in the month of May. You must start. Okay. At any cost. Okay. Not for everybody, but for most of the people, this is what I'm suggesting. If I see there is some potential for um self-employment or business or something you know helping them get out of the nine to five cycle somehow if if they want otherwise if they're happy then i'm telling them how can you improve your life within this existing job okay and i'm trying to figure out how they can do it uh between before the month of may okay anyways uh that's a short uh snippet from my side uh it, it this video was a way to tell you how to think and how to approach okay Thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and consultations can be booked through the website down below okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him